Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move your SharePoint files. I'm going to show you an out-of-the-box way of doing this if your documents already live inside of SharePoint through a web browser, and I'm also going to be revealing a top tip for how to move documents from, say, an on-premise file server into SharePoint Online using a free Microsoft tool. So stick around to see that at the end. But let's jump in and start taking a look. So here are my SharePoint files. I'm inside my finance SharePoint site at the moment, and I can see a whole range of different folders here on the left-hand side. Let's say, for example, though, I'm looking to move a particular document. So in this scenario, what I'm going to simulate is that I want to move a contract. So in this case, I'm the finance department, and I've actually uploaded my employee contracts to my finance SharePoint site. But actually, I've been told by my human resources department that all employee contracts need to live on the human resources SharePoint site. So I now need to move this particular employment contract into the human resources SharePoint site. So first off, I need to navigate to the document. So if I click on contracts. I've got a subfolder here called employee contracts. And then I've got a handful of documents within here. Now to move the uh, file, I need to select it and then you'll see that the options across the top panel up here will change. I've now got a couple of options across the top says move to and copy to. When I'm training people about how to use SharePoint, something I often find is that people haven't properly selected this file and they cannot see this option across the top. So one of the reasons why you might not see it across the top is that you've not selected the file properly. Another reason is if you're using a smaller screen, sometimes this bar will get smaller and it will put the options which it can't fit on the screen under these three dots. So also check in there as well if you don't see this option. So the next thing is once we've selected our file, we're going to click on move to. Now you'll also see there's another button called copy to. Now move to and copy to is like copy and paste or cut and paste. Copy to is going to leave a the original document intact where it is, and then copy it to a new location. That's our copy and paste functionality. Whereas move to is going to completely remove it from its current location and then move it to the new location, which is what we want to do in this particular scenario. So then I'm going to click on move to. Now this is where a pop-out box will appear and it will show me um, all the areas that I could move my file, files and folders to. Now by default, it's going to show me here on the left-hand side um, um, a, a list of quick access areas that I can jump to. And that's where I'm going to go to in a second to go to my human resources site. But just to also show you, I can also see the levels of the site I'm currently in. So I can see in finance, I can see in documents, contracts, and then employee contracts. So I can always move through this kind of breadcrumb navigation to actually move the files within the folders within its current site. So moving files within the current site is exactly the same as if I was to move it to a uh, other SharePoint site, an external SharePoint site um, outside of my existing site that I'm, I'm currently working in. So I'm going to move these now to my human resources site. So I'm going to select on human resources and then I can see a folder here called employee or employment contracts. So that's where I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click on move here. Now that's then going to remove the file from this current location and it's going to put it into that human resources location. You can see now it's, it's, it's actually taken it away from this from this view and it's moved it and I've also got this pop-up here which says that it's moved one item contract one into employment contracts now if I click on that link it'll actually take me directly to where that folder now lives sorry that file now lives on the human resources site so I know that it's now properly and successfully transferred across you can also do this in bulk so you can also select multiple files and click on the move to and then select on where you want to move it to. So again, human resources, employment contracts, click on move here. And again, it will do this in bulk. It will move it multiple times. And it will give you that pop-up message to, to let you know that it's been complete and a link to where you can now find those documents. Um, the exactly the same process works for copy to. So I'm not going to do this, but if you select a file and click on copy to, you can see you get the exactly the same interface. It is no different um, in terms of uh, how the usability works, but you're making a copy, so you're duplicating it. So it's worth knowing that as well. 
Before I go on to talking about my final tip for moving SharePoint files, I wanted to take a quick pause for a second to ask you a favor. Now, that is, I want you to go to my channel, and if you've already subscribed, please make sure that you're selecting the bell icon and turning on all notifications. Currently, my channel only has 10% of the bell icons activated. That means there's a lot of people missing out on the new um, videos that are getting published. Also, I'm now using the community tab inside of my channel to request if you have any ideas for any SharePoint videos that you'd like to see created. And then I'm going to pull those and create um, those top suggested videos for my YouTube channel audience. As always though, do like this video. If you've got any um, comments or questions, please use the comments feed below. Um, but it's really vital that you do subscribe and turn the alerts on to the channel to help my channel grow further. So without further delay, my final tip for moving SharePoint files is to install the free SharePoint migration tool. Now I'll put a link to this inside of um, the description for the video of where you can install this. It's completely free, it's from Microsoft. It's to try and help you migrate your documents from um, maybe a SharePoint server, a file share, or something like that, maybe files that are on your um, desktop computer to get them into SharePoint Online. So this can be used though um, for a quick and easy way of putting together a, a, a quick migration plan from say a file share um, into SharePoint Online. All you've got to do is select um, your folder so um, I'm gonna go into here. I've just set up a little move me folder. You select that from here, but this could be a, um, say a, a file server that you've got access to, map drive sort of thing, um, and you're looking to move that across into SharePoint. You can choose whether to migrate selected folder or, uh, so, sorry, migrate selected folder and folder contents or migrate only folder contents. So that's if you wanted to keep the folder structure. So if I wanted to keep the, the folder called move me as an example because that's what the folder is called or do I just want the files which are contained within it I'll probably just say I want the files which are contained within it which in this case is just one file uh, then I'm going to click on the next button which is slightly just off shot annoyingly just from my screen recording so I'm going to click on that then it'll ask me what I want to migrate to whether it's Microsoft Teams whether it's SharePoint or OneDrive I'm going to say SharePoint and then I can specify the name of the site um, that I want to migrate to so this will be my finance site, for example. So I'm just gonna put paste in the URL here. And then once you've pasted in the URL, what that'll do is it'll search for the document libraries which are created on that site. So I'm gonna select my documents document library and again, click on the next button, which is bottom right hand corner, but it's just off screen. That is that migration now mapped, ready to go. We can give it a name, so I could just say this is my moving files into finance SharePoint site, for example. I can create multiple migration mappings like this to other departments and then run them all in one go. Now, I have oversimplified this, so if you are looking at doing a much bigger SharePoint migration, then you will need to put in a lot more time and effort into making sure all of this is going to be um, connected properly and run test runs and all that sort of good stuff. And there's a lot of other settings of this tool that you would need to enable. Um, this is purely just more just if you've got some files which need to get into SharePoint, it's a nice and quick and easy way of getting them together, especially if they're coming from multiple folders and you're trying to then combine them into a new structure inside of SharePoint. This way of doing it is really uh, a simple way of achieving it. If you would like to see um, a full video about how to use this migration tool or, or planning for a SharePoint migration, um, go to my channel, go to the community tab and find the thread which is talking about ideas for new videos and post it in there. Let me know what you're having problems with and what you would like to see a video about. Thank you very much um, for your time watching today um, and make sure to like, subscribe, turn on that bell notifications and check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thank you very much.